If we are finding slope from a graph, and our first step says pick any two points on the line. Now I see that there are two points there, but I also want to point out that I see a third point here uh, right at this spot. So I'm going to add one to the, to the graph. And our second step then is to count up or down movement to the next point. So I'm going to use these first two points, and I see that if I go up to and over three, I can build a triangle here that's going to connect these points. So I'm going to go ahead and move up until I get to the line where I can go over to the side to connect those two points. So now I need to count how much movement that was. So I'm going to count my vertical first, because when we do slope, we're looking at our change in y, and that's our vertical movement. So I've moved one, two units. So I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to say, OK, I moved two units up. I know going up on the graph is positive, and I went two units. So I'm going to put a positive 2 next to that side. Then I need to count how many units did I move to the side? So I'm going to grab my pencil again, and I'm going to start right where I left off. And I moved one, two, three units to the side. So I'm going to mark that. And I know that when I move to the right, that's a positive movement on the graph, and I moved three units. So now I've taken care of all three steps. I can come down here and uh, put in my uh, slope. Now we know that slope of a line is our vertical change over our horizontal change, or like we've done previously, change in y, so change in our, our y value over our change in x value. So that's called rise over run when we're using a graph. So my rise was my vertical movement, my change in y, which was 2. And I'm putting that over my run, which is my horizontal movement, which was 3. So my slope of this line is 2 thirds. Now I want to show you something else. It doesn't matter what line uh, or what two points I choose. I could have chosen to make my triangle from the lowest point here over to the highest point. And once again, I'm going to count my units. So I have one, oops, sorry guys, wrong tool. One, two, three, four. So this time I rose positive because I went up four. Now when I check my run, going to the side, I moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And again, because I'm moving to the right, that is a positive move, so it's positive 6. So now if I were to calculate that rise over run, my rise this time was 4. My run was 6. Well, I know that this can be simplified by dividing both by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And I notice that both slopes are exactly the same. So it doesn't matter what two points you use, you're going to get the same slope. 